Hello. Okay, so I was in contact with um, the people from Laura Mercier and they were nice enough to send me a couple of their products to review and try out. Um, the first product they sent me was the Laura Mercier Moisture Supreme Foundation. My shade is Warm Ivory. Um, it's a little yellow, just so you know. There's, um, I think the Blush Ivory, which is one down, is more of a pink undertone. Um, my skin tends to be a pink undertone, so wearing a pink makeup tends to make my face look more pink, so I kind of like to wear a little bit more yellow pigmented makeup. Um, so I really enjoy this foundation. It, um, I have super dry skin, so if I wear anything like matte, it just kind of sticks, and I kind of have big pores, so it just doesn't look very good. Um, my makeup looks cakey and I just do not enjoy it. So this foundation is supposed to be for people with dry skin and um, it actually has stuff like I think it has um, it has avocado, argan oil, aloe, um, some other stuff in it. So it's like good stuff for your skin. Um, and <clears throat> so it's kind of like making your skin better while you're wearing it. Um, I am actually wearing it right now and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I've been breaking out recently along my chin and like my nose and my nose gets really dry anyways, not necessarily blackheads, but it just gets really dry. And so um, I like the way it looks on my skin. I've been using a like little sponge, makeup sponge to apply it, and I know a lot of people don't like using sponges, but um, I like the look of it better. Um, I've also I also tried using a like stippling brush, and I just didn't like the look as much. But um, this is very buildable, so even the first coat's pretty. Like I didn't need much more than a first coat. I actually just took a little bit, squirted it like onto my face in like four different directions and then wiped it in in circle motions with um, my little sponge and it was like a very flawless finish. I didn't need much more. Um, I enjoyed it. It is not as, like it still makes me look a little dry and so I really recommend putting on like a really hydrating lotion under it but um, I am overall pleased with the look and the feel of it. It lasts a really long time so that's really good especially like I'm always running around or I'm working or I'm everything you know life um, and so I really enjoy it. I'd also just like to say that it made my skin look a little glowy which was nice but it didn't look too dewy but it didn't make me look super dry so I put a little bit of um, blush and a little bit of bronzer on and my skin actually looks healthy for once. The second product they sent me was the Laura Mercier um, Secret Concealer in 0.5. I know I'm super pale, but I think this product is literally the coolest thing I've ever used. Um, I usually buy drugstore concealers, so I'm not like spending a ton of money. Um, my under eye concealer is usually um, Stila or Stila, I don't know how to say it, but I really like that one and it just kind of brightens me up, but this one is my new favorite thing. It's super creamy and it goes on so easy and so well and it literally covers up anything. I get, I've broken my nose like twice, so I have naturally blackened eyes um, and so this literally covers up everything. It makes you look so awake and I use it, um, it's for under eyes, but I've used it on my chin because like I said earlier, I have a little bit of an issue with like breaking out, but it literally covers up so well. It's creamy, it doesn't look, it doesn't crease, um, it looks so natural. Um, it literally is my favorite thing ever right now. So I will probably never buy a different or different concealer again unless I find something better, but I'm pretty sure I can't because this is amazing. Um, to put it on, I've just used my finger. Take a little bit of it and dab it on. You don't need much. And then 
for my under eyes because it does look it doesn't look cakey and powdery because um, it's so creamy I put a little bit of um, powder foundation like in a lighter color because you should never wear something super dark under your eyes just because you want something lighter to brighten your face up um, I use I have a Chanel powder that I like um, it just kind of it doesn't cake so that's probably what you want because you don't want creases and um, the best thing about this too it is it is creaseless and it is good for like anti-aging properties I mean I don't really have an issue with that but I've been using anti-aging lotion on my face since I was like 13 so I'm kind of crazy about that um, so I really recommend this product I recommend both of these products especially if you have, if you have skin like mine my skin is kind of blotchy and red which is annoying yep I know and it's very dry and so I think I found a foundation that I actually really enjoy and I have 500 foundations so my mind changes like every month but this one is probably going to be one of the ones that um, I keep going back and getting because I really enjoy this um, this both of these products were awesome so I hope this review was helpful I totally recommend this to anyone who has skin like mine um yeah well hope this wasn't super awkward this is my first review of a product might get a little awkward so yeah